We live in a world where brain-inspired machine learning is becoming increasingly important, from driving autonomous cars to solving mathematical problems. At the same time, neuroscience is making vast leaps every year, while still having many great mysteries to solve. We want to explore the link between these two fields, and how their relationship might help us in the future. Firstly, how do our brains function? Well, the key to how we carry out our everyday activities is through memories. We remember how to tie our shoelaces, and we remember how to do a maths problem. These memories work together with core instincts to allow higher cognitive function. But how do memories actually form? The brain consists of a vast number of interconnected cells called neurons. When a particular action is done, say raising a hand, this requires a sequence of neurons to send signals in a particular ordered chain. When these neurons fire in this chain, the connections between the neurons in the chain become much stronger. This means that the next time the action is taken, the neurons are more easily triggered, and so the action becomes easier. This is our muscle memory. The more we do an action, the easier it becomes. The connections between neurons can become stronger in many different ways. The connective branch between the two neurons could become larger, allowing the signal called an action potential to pass between the branches more easily. Or one of the neurons themselves could become more sensitive to any signal. This first way is similar to using a better connection to talk to someone on the phone, while the second method of learning is similar to turning up the volume on the phone itself. Through these key methods of learning, all the complex work of the brain is made manageable. Artificial neural networks, the most common way that computers can learn, are based on the same idea. An input is translated into several numerical variables, whether they are the colours of the pixels in an image, or the set of temperatures in a given area. Each of these values are then attached to many neurons, and then there are layers of neurons which finally produce an output. The way the neural network learns to recognise patterns is very similar to how our brains work. The outputs are compared to correct answers, and adjustments are made to the connections so that those contributing to correct answers have more importance. A detailed description requires linear algebra and multivariable calculus beyond the scope of this video, but this process of feedback called backpropagation is intimately similar to the way our biological brains function in the varying connections between the artificial neurons. These two fields are two sides of the same coin. While our developments in neurobiology continue to inspire ever more advanced and capable machine learning algorithms, our deep understanding of how artificial neural networks function at a mathematical level is helping us to understand the complexities of the brain. For example, the network of neurons in our brain contains a mess of neurons, not layered, all with varying connections. But the artificial neural networks only contain neurons in layers. Newer advanced neural networks that have more randomly arranged neurons may have the potential to deal with computational problems that brains can process easily, but neural networks thus far have found hard. Conversely, computer scientists have made vast leaps in the last decade in image recognition through artificial neural networks, and the way that this functions may help to illuminate the field of human neurological image processing, an area still shrouded in mystery. While our understanding of the brain is still incomplete, and the ways in which we compute emotions and complex decisions still have plenty of research to come, the brain remains the most efficient computer in the world. Our brains, which run on 20 watts of power, can still heavily outperform our best supercomputers which have hundreds of thousands of times as much power as our brains in even the most basic tasks. A world in which our AI is as efficient as our brains, and our brains are as understood as our AI, is a world in which cheap prosthetics, self-driving cars, and much more can flourish.